Welcome to Dial Up Digest. Charlotte Pickles from the Rugrats is the mother of Angelica and the wife of Drew Pickles. This character is voiced by Cheryl Chase. In this Rugrats character analysis video, I'm going to analyze Charlotte's appearance, personality, relationships, hobbies, best moments, and more. But before we get into this video, let's take a look at Charlotte's signature look. Charlotte always looks ready to work. She wears her hair tied back with a blue scrunchie and a gray suit dress with a red tie. Despite always running between work and home, Charlotte is never seen without her dark blue heels. Charlotte is an assertive businesswoman who is always determined to get her way. Her career as the CEO of a company called Megacorp keeps her busy. Even while away from work at home, Charlotte's mind is focused on her job. Charlotte was a big fan of technology and always stayed current with the latest trends. She's the only adult character who has a cell phone. Her favorite contact is her executive assistant, Jonathan. Jonathan, I'm, I'm just thankful I've still got cell phone reception. While caring for Angelica at home, Charlotte relies on Jonathan to get things done at the office. In the episode, Jonathan Babysits, it is revealed that Jonathan is resentful of Charlotte. Who could blame him? The whole episode revolves around him trying to get back at her. But Jonathan's plan didn't work out, and he gets a pleasant surprise instead. So, you tried to find something to embarrass me, huh, Jonathan? Finally, showing some initiative. You know, I may have underestimated you, Jonathan. I think there's a promotion in order. Oh, well, thank you. Other than spending time working, Charlotte has a home gym where she runs on her treadmill. By maintaining an active lifestyle, she keeps her body and mind sharp. Her strict work ethic meant she barely stopped working to have fun. I've been trying to reach Charlotte, but her cellular phone is always busy. Call that a counteroffer? I call it. Hold on, Jonathan, we're coming to a rapid. But she did take time out once in a while for her friends and family. She and Drew raised Angelica together both as working professionals. They both had strong personalities, but they didn't actually clash. Snuck arms, I'm going over to Stu's for a few minutes. Okay. Is Angelica still upstairs? Uh-huh. I haven't heard a peep out of her. I'll go up and check on her. And Drew? Yeah? Don't call me Snuck arms. Noted. They support each other and use their wits to build a life for themselves and their child. Charlotte has a positive relationship with Drew's family and supported their dreams. I thought we'd get a jump start on the festivities. We've even rented a limo bus to celebrate Stu's big night. In turn, the Pickles family supported her and Drew by babysitting Angelica when they had to work. As an independent and successful businesswoman, Charlotte is a great influence to Angelica. Angelica is Charlotte's number one fan. Sometimes she copies her mom a little too well. All right, now I'm the boss of everybody and you all have to do exactly what I say. Isn't that precious? <laughs> yeah. Both Charlotte and Drew spoiled Angelica with anything she wants. Toys, cookies, candy. But between Charlotte and Drew, Charlotte is the parent who isn't afraid to discipline her. It seems that maybe because she and Drew are so busy that Angelica is spoiled and thinks she can bully the babies around. Instead of giving her the time she needed, they quickly pacify her with whatever she wants. If Angelica has parents who spent more time with her, I wonder if she would have turned out differently. But then again, maybe Angelica is just naturally assertive as the product of her parents. What do you think? Angel, baby, no, don't, 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 you're, you're killing brain cells. Angelica, stop. Mommy wants you to go to Harvard. <sighs> In the episode, Angelica's Worst Nightmare, Charlotte's busy life juggling motherhood and being a CEO almost got a lot busier. This is because Charlotte and Drew find out that Charlotte is pregnant. The expecting parents are happy about the news, unlike Angelica. But in the end, the parents find out Charlotte is not actually pregnant. Charlotte's reaction shows that she was looking forward to having another child. The CEO has expensive taste and didn't have patience for the simple things in life. However, this changes in the episode Babies in Toyland. This episode is also my favorite that features Charlotte. On Christmas Eve, the crew is stranded in an old cottage from the 1900s. Here, Charlotte is exposed to a different way of life. Without her phone and other modern luxuries, Charlotte is forced to slow down and live simply. Sure, nothing but dust, the scent of buffalo manure, and a marginally tuned piano. But hey, 
Let's party! Surprisingly, she embraces this change. Charlotte's willingness to adapt shows how she is always open to personal growth. All in all, I really liked Charlotte's character when I was a kid. I love how she is so strong-willed and in charge of both her home and her professional life. She is a powerful role model for both girls and boys. She is able to be assertive and stern, but also kind. She knows what she wants to do and is driven to succeed. And she isn't afraid of appearing bossy while doing it. She knows that she is a minority as a woman in a top corporate position, so she works hard. While Charlotte's commanding behavior may seem a little much at times, as a leader and a mother, her behavior was necessary in order to be successful. Charlotte stays strong in the face of difficult circumstances and overcomes them. By staying in shape, Charlotte gains the energy and strength to handle her high-stress lifestyle. But no matter how busy she gets, her family and friends are always a top priority. She is a loving mother who tries her best to raise Angelica with her values. Charlotte's character is an example of what it takes to manage two of the hardest jobs in the world. It takes support from friends and family, teamwork, ingenuity, and a positive attitude. If Charlotte Pickles can do it, so can you. I second that. Me too. Wonderful. What do you think of Charlotte Pickles? What is your favorite Charlotte moment? Let me know in the comments down below. If you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Until next time, my friends, dialing out. Oh no!